There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, divas? What's up, divos? So, first of all, let me tell y'all this much. It's super late. It's 12.30 at midnight, and I'm still up doing videos. If you want to know why, I really don't know. Maybe because I'm really trying to catch up on stuff, and I still have two more left to go, which are wig videos. But I felt like I had this wig sitting in my house long enough, which means it's time to do the wig. Um, the reason why I've had this wig sitting in my house long enough is because I had to do some serious work on this wig. Not even that serious, but was very yellow and very brassy. So, got my lumberjack shirt on, looking like my face is still beat when I really wanna take myself to sleep. So anyway, this wig is by Divas Wigs, okay? If you guys have heard of Divas Wigs, this is Divas Wigs, and I probably got the, okay, it's up straight. So I noticed over the years they did change their packaging. They got like this cute little white brush in here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not cute, but it's basic, all right? Of a wig net and some instructions, all right? Okay, so the wig that they sent me, I really can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm gonna tell you guys what, I will post it below. So as you guys can see, it's very yellow and it's platinum in some spots. I didn't do this. It came to me a million times um, worse than this. It's not even that bad. I think it's supposed to be highlights, but when it came to me, it was so yellow that I was just like, oh my God, I cannot. As soon as I took it out the box, it started tangling. Like I swear to you guys, I wouldn't exaggerate. It didn't like do anything but just tangle. So I had to use the Mark Daniels Professional um, Blue Cypress, um, you know, <laughs> Toner. I seen my girl Passion Jones using this and I wanted to try it out because I really did purchase Wella Toner for this wig. But once I seen my girl Passion Jones using this, I said, I'm going to get this because I really don't feel like using that Wella Toner, even though I purchased it already. I bought these from Amazon as a set and I think it was like $23. And then I also purchased this right here, which is the leave-in toner, which is like a leave-in conditioner. This is like $13. And let me tell you something, it's not a lot in this bottle. Okay, so you want to use it sparingly. So I I used it and I let this sit in like that shampoo purple water for a minute because it was so yellow. Now, mind you, it came back looking much better. It probably could use some Wella toner, but it looks a million times better. But I think this is how the color is supposed to be. It is a glueless full lace wig. Okay, so it does have, it did have a comb right here, but I removed it. It does have the two left on the temple. It originally had three and it has the comb and adjustable strap in the nape, which we're going to make real tight because a girl don't have no elastic sewn in this wig. The first thing that I'm going to do is cut the lace off of it. So now I'm going to put some concealer on it. And Okay, you guys, so I'm 
I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this wig because let me tell you something. Regardless of what I do to it, it's shedding like um, nobody's business. It's very dry. To me, it's very dry. As much as I love Diva's wigs because we have worked together so many times, the quality of this one is really not up to par. It's, um, the color is just splotchy and spotty all over. If it's supposed to be highlights, it's really not a good job of highlights. I think that the knots needed to be tweezed and thinned out. It's 22 inches in length and I just don't like the way the color came out at all. It doesn't look like the picture and I, like I said, I did use the toners and everything but the cap is very roomy so if you have like a bigger head, it's definitely going to fit but I just think like with Diva's wigs, as much as I love them, they do have some nice wigs, but this one right here, they messed up with. Um, I don't, I've seen a lot of blonde wigs from companies and it just seems like companies cannot do blonde wigs at all. Like they just kind of make them look so orange and brassy. And, and this is not the first time that this has happened to me, not with Diva's wigs, but with another company, like several of them. And they just don't do blonde wigs really well at all, which is unfortunate. But for the most part, okay, at least if I wanted to put like some colorful hair color to it, then it would probably take really well because it would give it like all kind of dimensions, but I just don't think that this looks really good and blonde. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I love you guys. Um, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I will see you guys on the other side.